Hello and welcome to JHEF's lesson on esterification and dehydration of alcohol suitable for F322 and F324. So the first thing that we uh, need to remember is that to make an ester, we need a carboxylic acid which we can get from the reflux um, of a primary alcohol and we need an alcohol and we make this compound that we call an ester. Uh, esters are oils that produce sweet lovely smells and they also make materials when we have lots and lots of esters to make a polyester that will be in a different video. So how do we make it? Well we need one centimeter cubed of alcohol which is also the same as one milliliter, one milliliter of alcohol plus the one centimeter cubed of carboxylic acid plus a few drops of sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid is used as a catalyst because this reaction will be too slow to perform on its own in room temperature or even indeed at 80 degrees Celsius. So we use the sulfuric acid to speed up the rate of reaction and lower the activation energy. So what we do with this in the test tube, we will put it in a beaker full of, hot, full of water or a hot water bath and that would be at 80 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Then we pour the contents of the test tube into cold water and you will see an oil that has been produced, hence the ester, and that's the ester. So what is the chemical reaction that is involved in it? Well, what happens is that we've got the alcohol here, which I've named butanol, and we've got the carboxylic acid here, which I've named pentanoic acid. What happens is that the H from the alcohol reacts with the OH from the um, carboxylic acid to produce water and to produce the ester. The one way to remember where the OH, which one, reacts with what is that pentanoic acid has got two oxygens um, and so we don't want it to be too greedy and so we would remove one oxygen from there. Um, and obviously like that. So what we will end up with is this. I know it's not a very good drawing but we have the oxygen from the uh, alcohol here connected to the rest of the carboxylic acid. When the carboxylic acid has lost the OH the alcohol has lost the H to make water. And the way we would name this we would name it butyl pent I know it. The way to remember is that butanol has lost a hydrogen and because it's lost in hydrogen it's now an alkyl. If you know what an alkyl is it would help you so much to remember it. And pentanoic acid, one way to remember it, pentanoic, ic, oic and oate sound pretty similar. I mean that's just one way of remembering it. To be honest, so if I had um, octanol and pentanoic acid, it will be octanyl pentanoate. If I had um, butanoic acid and I had oct I don't know, no, hexanol, it will be hexyl. I can't remember what I said for that, butanoic acid, something like that. So, dehydration of alcohols. Dehydrating means to remove water and what we do here is that we will take an OH group and a H group from somewhere else from a different uh, carbon which is next to the carbon that you just took the OH from to produce water. Now the thing that many people um, would assume is that we will take an OH from there and we will take a H from here to make water but that is wrong mainly because we would not be able to form a double bond if we took that hydrogen okay because this will still have three bonds four bonds sorry and this would have only two bonds we can't really put a double bond because that will make five bonds of carbon and as you know that is not possible so we need to have the hydrogen from another carbon which is adjacent to the carbon that you took the OH from and then before you know it, uh, obviously you do this under reflux on 40 minutes. Uh, that means reflux means bubbling, um, bubbling under. 
uh, under phosphoric acid phosphoric acid is your uh, catalyst as well to be honest it, it does speed up the rate of reaction and you would end up with a compound that looks like this which you've got the double bonds here two hydrogen um, atoms here we've got a hydrogen atom here and we've got three here which I haven't drawn and that is it for react uh, that is it for esterification and dehydration if you want to have a look at anhydrides and uh, hydrolysis of esters, please look at the F324 video, which is coming next.